Now, the problem with this is being wrong feels like being right. If you don't know you're wrong. If you don't know you're wrong, but you are, it feels like being right. And so we stand on that ground and we protect it. And not only do we want to know that we are right, we want everybody else to know we're right that disagrees with us, so we argue with them. Being wrong feels like being right. Realizing you're wrong feels horrible, doesn't it? Am I right or wrong? Especially especially when somebody points it out to us. When somebody points out to us that we're wrong and they have evidence that proves that, that feels bad. But somehow we have to move to the point where we no longer fear being wrong because wrong is a step towards being right. Everything right in our lives came out of something that was wrong. You know, when little children, they have no sense of being wrong. They mess up, they make mistakes, they have problems, they cause problems, but they don't have a sense of being wrong. They just continue to do whatever they're doing until they get it right. And every right is a few steps of wrong as the process. It's the same thing for each and every one of us. You look back over your life, you've done a lot of things wrong. You know, I I married my my childhood sweetheart. I thought that we were going to live together for the rest of our lives, have children. I was wrong. It didn't happen. Here I am. I went into the family business. I thought that I was going to take that over, live in Sioux Falls, South Dakota the rest of my life, and that was going to be my career. I was wrong. It didn't happen. Here I am. And if you think about your life, you can see a lot of things that you believed would happen didn't. You were wrong. Yet here you are. See, the fear of being wrong clouds the way we perceive what's going on around us. We perceive it according to what we believe to be true. And so if we have this sense that we are right all the time, then we're perceiving things in the world in a wrongful way, and that's where the struggle comes in. That's where the relationship conflicts come in. The best way to move beyond the fear of being wrong is just to admit that you're wrong. Everybody in here is wrong about something. For me, it's many, many things. I am wrong about many, many things. But right here, right now, I can't think of a single thing I'm wrong about. Isn't that true? (laughs) Try to think right now, what are you wrong about? You can't think of anything, but you are. I can guarantee it. You're wrong about a lot of things. We all are. That's the beauty of it. If somebody points out to you that you're wrong, find some sort of happiness in that, knowing that there's just as many things wrong with them as there is about you. (laughs) We're just, we're students in this this whole path of life. We're not graduates. We're going to get things wrong. And every time we get something wrong, there's nothing more than a right turn signal on the path of life saying it's time to turn and go this way. That is not going to happen. You are wrong about it. Just admit the fact that we are wrong. There are things that are wrong about us and then have fun in discovering those things because that's what life is all about. It's going out and discovering, I was wrong about that. Now I know what's right. Hallelujah, praise God. I can move forward in a more enlightened state. You know, we need to step back into that consciousness that I talked about, that Max had, that every young child has, that we had at one point or another, and just give ourselves a break. Lose the self-criticism. Lose the lack of self-confidence. Even lose self-reflection. We don't even have to think about ourselves as much as we do. You know, we can enjoy life in that state of consciousness that is precious and that is pure and that is, is our divine inheritance we came into this world with. We had to wander away from it to determine the other side, to determine the opposite, to know that's not what we want. Now we've explored that realm of consciousness and we can go back. We can go back to that place where we can be at ease with who we are and we can be at ease with the life that we're living. So as we move into meditation, I just ask you to think about your life. And if there's a struggle someplace in your life, if there's a part that just doesn't feel good, perhaps you might suspend the thoughts that you're having and just think about that in a different way. Think, perhaps I'm wrong about this. What's another perspective that I could take? We'll now move into meditation.